Hello everybody and welcome back to Her Atlas. My name is Caitlin, if you're new here. Um, I live in Japan. I am doing a week in my life. I'm trying something new this week. I just got to a store called Uniqlo. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Uniqlo wherever you live, but it kind of reminds me of Gap. I'm from the United States and that's the first thing that I kind of think think of. Um, it's like affordable clothing that's also trendy. Um, I'm not normally one for fast fashion, but I feel like Uniqlo is really popular in Japan. So I just wanna go see what it looks like. I might get a few things so i'm gonna take you guys shopping with me now and then we'll also like go through my week i guess i don't really know what other plans i have this is a long intro let's go i really want to point out how amazingly organized the parking lot is everybody is reversed into their spots it makes pulling in and getting out easier and faster so you always have like a lot of longer skirts just because things here i feel like are just a little more modest i love the color of this red one i'm just not sure about the fabric or how it's gonna lay but i'm gonna try it on anyway let's talk about japanese fitting rooms many of you know that it's customary to take off your shoes when entering someone's home but did you know that we also do this at changing rooms and sometimes at restaurants you'll see that again later in the video Make sure you turn your shoes so they face outwards. When you open the door, you can step into them to leave easier. This is a face shield. I love this so much. You put it on your head like so. They typically give this to you when you're checking in to go to the fitting rooms. This is going to create a barrier between you and the clothing. I used to work in retail back home in the United States and I wish we had these because the makeup stains and germs kind of freaked me out. I just think this is such a simple, ingenious solution. So quiet. So quiet. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. I could not really film inside the store, but I wanted to tell you about the experience. I don't know if this is unique to Uniqlo or if they're just taking extra steps because of the virus. So I hand sanitized my hands three times. When I entered the store, they took my temperature and gave me hand sanitizer. And then when I went to the dressing room, I used hand sanitizer um, and not a single associate like talked to me like to anybody not just me and then when i was actually done changing out of my clothes they wouldn't take the clothes back from me i had to put them on myself so i don't know if that's unique to uniqlo or, or if that's just like a change in shopping because of the times when i went to the cash register it was all self-serve checkout and i'll insert a clip here from gu which is a very similar story it was the same exact checkout process and i had to bag everything myself scanned everything myself i had to use hand sanitizer before using the machines and then when i was done an employee came and cleaned the machine when i was finished i was really really impressed i don't know i would love to hear from you guys like if this is normal not normal if this is like extra steps going above and beyond i thought it was great honestly Good morning, early afternoon. It's like 10.15 on Monday. I don't even know what day of the week it is anymore. Anyway, I'm making lunch. I have Japanese class at 11.30 and my husband's coming home at like 11. So I'm trying to have lunch for us. And I always like when I see what other people make, 
Um, and today I'm making like a chicken salad. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm cooking. I don't know. I'm just cutting up the chicken into like really small pieces like this. Japanese class is going great. I'm still a beginner. And then I also feel like sometimes when I go out and like talk, I forget everything that I learn. I get like, I guess like starstruck, like I get nervous. We normally have Japanese lessons in person, but since like February, we've changed all of our classes to Skype. So our teacher normally like drives to us and we have class, but it's just safer right now. Anyway, I'm cooking the chicken right now. And then I'll show you after I'm done cooking the chicken, how I put everything together. You're gonna need kale, by the way. Do you want it to get soft? So I'm going to basically just take all the leaves off and then I'm going to toss it in olive oil and let it sit out on the side so it gets a little softer. I also like it into like little pieces. I feel like it's easier to digest. So I'm just kind of like ripping all of it. Olive oil, mix it. You just want to coat it and we'll set it to the side and it will get soft. A ton of spinach and I'm gonna chop this up really small and I'm also going to add this to the kale and mix it up. This one is mine and then this one is my husband's. He doesn't have any feta, but I do. So we've got carrots, almonds. What kind of beans are these? Kidney beans. <laughs> Kidney beans. These were left over from one of our dinners, so I just added it to the salad. Chicken, tomato. I did Fuji apples for something sweet, feta cheese, and cucumbers. And then I'm just going to add a sesame ginger dressing, and then you can just use whatever dressing you want. And that's lunch. Just finished Japanese class. Whenever I share on my Instagram stories that I'm in Japanese class, I get lots of questions about it. So I might as well talk about it here really quick. We use Genki textbooks in class. This is my like homework book, but then I also have one that's our actual lesson textbook. And we have class twice a week. So I take Japanese lessons every Monday and every Wednesday. I do recommend if you can find a teacher to get one. So today's Monday, we just finished that up. I am also going to show you guys here in a few minutes how I kind of get some work done for YouTube. So I am going to finish editing a YouTube video and get it up. It's my grocery haul, or not grocery haul, but a grocery store tour. And then I'll show you how I kind of like promote that and get that out. So maybe that's interesting to you guys to see the work that goes behind the scenes other than like what you're seeing right now. So anyway, I don't know if that was interesting or not, but we'll move on to the next section of the video. It's like 6 p.m., just had dinner. I don't, I'm dressed like this, I don't know why. I was like trying on things because we're going to the flower fields tomorrow and I wasn't sure what I wanted to wear, so now I'm just wearing a lot of random things. Any of you guys are thinking of getting on YouTube and want to get into like a good editing program, I use DaVinci Resolve. Now, I'm not one to teach you like how to use it. I just looked everything up on YouTube and I'm still learning myself. This is a Blue Yeti microphone. So that's what I use to do all my voiceovers. And then this is a pop filter and so is this one. I still don't always know if that's what, if I'm like using them correctly or not. I don't know. I don't know if this is interesting to you guys or not, but this is the stuff that you don't normally see. Well, I couldn't hear. Normally see your YouTubers, people that you watch on YouTube, do. I uploaded the video to YouTube and then I spent about 20 minutes making the thumbnail. It takes so long. I try to do the thumbnail while the video is like uploading in to YouTube. Sometimes it can take a while. My audience is predominantly in the United States but it can also just depend on the video who is watching. So, oh, it's eight o'clock in the East Coast, so I can totally get this video up. Must do it. YouTube video is up. 
I'm gonna get the rest of the like ads up I guess like promoting that the video is now alive and I will see you guys tomorrow when we go to the flower fields I have to get up at like 5 because I'm leaving at 7 in the morning okay good night Good morning. It is an early call time. It is 5.15 and I went to bed probably around 12.30 or 1 last night. Didn't get a lot of sleep, but it was worth it. I always love when I put new YouTube videos up, but because of the time difference, I always end up really late responding to comments and doing all the things that I love most about YouTube, which is the community and you guys. I'm putting on my makeup, but I have to let you guys know I had to override the music because I was jamming out to Taylor Swift's new album, Folklore. I need to know if you guys have listened to it yet. I wasn't sure if I liked it at first, and now I'm super obsessed with it. It's super chill, super calm. I listen to it while I'm editing videos, while I'm getting ready in the morning. I love that it's storytelling, and I just think it's one of her best pieces of work. Anyway, my friend Linda is about to pick me up, so I'll show you my outfit in a little bit. Don't mind my dusty hair from earlier. It was dry shampoo, like, marinating. I guess that's what I call it. But I'm quickly just kind of curling my hair, and we're gonna run. Oh, that was cute. <laughs> I, I got one of the unicorn mugs, the tumbler. I did too. Wait, why does this say Seattle? Oh, I was like, oh, why does this say Seattle? But Seattle. then I forgot. It's from Seattle. I like these. Mm -hmm. Peach and mango. Oh, got the cheese <gasps> Look at the blueberry roll. Mm, that's new. Cold brew coffee with frozen lemonade. Iced coffee and then they did frozen lemonade inside. I'm super excited to try this. It tastes like you would assume. Coffee and lemon to taste together. Come on. Co coffee and lemonade. It's good. It's actually very refreshing. Right? It sounds Okay, weird, I'm a fan. Right? Yeah. It's like the same idea as if like people do like lemon coke. Yeah. Something dark like, with like yeah. citrus. Yeah. yeah. It's good. It I just does think. sound weird when you think coffee and citrus. Yeah. But it's good. Yeah. Don't they in like Italy have a lemon twist with their Espresso. At this point in the video, I need you to turn the volume up a little bit and make sure there aren't any noise distractions going on around you. We are about to drive down one of Japan's music roads. Sometimes they're called melody roads or singing roads. There are specific and strategic grooves cut into the road so that as your car travels over it, it plays a song in the car. music and I was like excuse me <laughs> so there's only like a few of them right the musical road uh, yeah there's one of oh by the way this is Linda hi <laughs> um, they have one up by Fuji Mount Fuji and I don't know where I want to say there's four in all of Japan but I don't know where the other ones are and we've just happened to ride on that one twice yes twice I hope it picked up on the video so. I'm gonna I'm gonna play it back yeah we got donuts this one, do you remember what this one was? The lemon. It's lemon ricotta cheese. That's what it was. It looks nice and crispy. And then the lemon. Steam bread. Steam bread. Yes. And they're all local. Local lemon. Breakfast. Carbs <laughs> on carbs. <laughs> We are at Seiro Kogan Farms near Hiroshima. It was a two hour drive to get here and it cost us about $25 each way on the toll roads. So these flowers are not even blooming yet and when we walked in she told us that they're only at 20 to 30%. So imagine they get so much bigger. 
there's also almost nobody here, which is perfect and safe. It's so stunning. It couldn't be more perfect. I mean, yeah, they're not all blooming, but I'm okay. Yeah, I'd rather be here when they're not fully blooming and get the effect without a lot of people being here too. Yes. Yeah? Ah! <laughs> okay. The video. I should go. Tell if it's already on. It's already recording. Are you doing a oh, uh, I think he wanted to take a, oh, he wanted a to go, picture. He wanted to take a picture of you. Oh, we can do a picture. Oh, he's going to set you up. Oh, okay. Come over here. Come over here. Okay. Come over here. Okay. So, 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 so. It's on video. I don't... <laughs> Should I tell him? <laughs> Does he want us to take a picture of him? We can take one of him here since he's alone. Ishioni? <laughs> oh, hi! 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 これを押して、それを押した。わかりました。ちょっと怖いですね。ブラボー。ブラボー。ブラボー。ブラボー。ブラボー。ブラボー。ブラボー。ブラボー。ブラボー。ブラボー。ブラボー。ブラボー。ブ
This is what it looks like inside. You can see the corn. And where did they say it came from? She said it came from a local farmer in this area. And if you come to Santa Kogan Farms, it's in like the shop at the front. Yes, the first gift shop as soon as you walk in. You go okay. first. Or we can I'm go at the same time. <laughs> I know. I'm a little. So it looks like I don't, ice I don't cream really, more than gelato. To yeah. Me. I don't really know what to think. I see bits of corn. Come by. Hmm. Oh. It's more like ice cream, not gelato. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. corn is subtle, almost non-existent. I can barely. It's like, okay, so it's like oh, vanilla ice cream. Afterwards, though, it's like I it get tastes... corn after, and I actually had corn kernels mm -hmm. in the ice cream. Mm -hmm. So the um, corn is like okay. If you took vanilla ice cream and blended corn in it, <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Mm -hmm. I'm almost disappointed it wasn't stranger. <laughs> like I'm kind of disappointed I actually like it. Okay, we mm -hmm. like it. I yeah. like it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good. I know. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Random vending machines right off the highway for no reason. <laughs> the house is so, so big. Yeah. So that's something like multiple families would live in, mm -hmm. right? Yes. We are in the Hiroshima Prefecture driving through the mountains and the rice fields to get to Oheso Cafe. It is quite literally in the middle of the rice fields and it's inside of this 150 year old traditional Japanese home. They've remodeled it and given it a new life. It's owned by a husband and wife team. She is Japanese and he is Spanish so they brought their two cultures together to bring you a tapas style cafe menu. The menu changes seasonally, and they're also located across the street from their own wheat farm. Raw spicy chocolate. Ooh, that sounds, that sounds good. Oh, cafe con leche. Yeah, that's the one that my friend always gets in Spain. Wow, that's a really big pizza. They gave us um, like scissors to cut it with. Instead of a pizza cutter. Yum. Understand the point of the scissors, but I'm into it. I could have cut differently though, because my left hand is like. <laughs> okay, this is not as good as the other one was. I'm like so like, okay, we're good, we're good. You have to cut the next one. Here we Okay, why are you so much better at this than I was? Wait, mine was like sawing. I'm so... There you go. What's the trick? I don't know what your problem is. <laughs> How'd you do that? No, because you started it, so it was easy. <laughs> I had a band-aid on my finger. I think I just took it off when I put my shoe on. But I don't see it on my so... I wish I had worn shoes with socks, but it's okay. More random vending machines on the side of the highway. Okay guys, today we've already gone to the flower fields, which was a two hour drive there and a two hour drive back. And now I'm going to pottery class. So I'm gonna take you guys inside and show you around just a little bit. So they actually have an udon shop here and they're open three days a week. And it's in this really pretty old Japanese building. But I wanna show you guys what it looks like out here. It takes me about 20 to 25 minutes to get to class. And this is the view around the corner. Isn't this stunning? Yeah, this never gets old. This is our sensei's work. He makes beautiful pottery. We have Linda again. We hung out all day and we're reunited a couple hours later. Long time no see. Long time no see. This is beautiful. I know, I love, I love the cracked that. stuff. I always say it kind of like reminds me of like a brain, but in a good way. Yes, yes. Like I love it so that was much. the first thing I thought of the first time I ever saw it. So, so pretty. Yeah. I love the blue stuff too. 
He also does these Kintai bridge plates, which is an Iwakuni staple. Which one? Sake cups. Ah, uh, cool sake cups. Yeah, super cute. Can we go downstairs now? Oh. This is actually my sensei's work. He is incredibly talented. I will actually have more videos on him coming in the future. During this class specifically, I asked him if he would like to be in one of my videos because I just find his lifestyle fascinating. I think that he's incredibly talented and then Japanese ceramics and pottery is really important to the culture here and my personal experience. So I just want to do an entire video dedicated to that to share that with you guys and he's agreed to work on that with me. So stay tuned. I hope to get more out, but yeah, this is what my pottery studio looks like. And I'm going to show you a little bit of my work. So gym and I ran an errand as well um wow it is so hot outside so I actually ride my bike to the gym as often as I can I actually ride my bike as often as I can um and specifically for the gym because I feel like it's a nice warm-up but I also challenged myself this year to not drive my car unless like I really need to like if it's smoldering hot outside or it's too far away Wow, I am so out of breath. I want to challenge myself to make like eco swaps and sustainable swaps. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I really like Mighty Nest, which is a sustainable like monthly subscription box. And I'm new to it. I'm not an expert, but I feel like small changes I can control in my home and daily life has helped a lot. Went to the gym and obviously I just showed you clips of me at the gym. Um, if any of you guys are looking for an app to try I use this one called the sweat app and it pulls up I do pay for it I paid for the year because it's less expensive to just do the whole year at once and I'm doing the power beginner series I'm on week four and it's taught by Kelsey Wells and it basically has like all these workouts and when you click on it it has like videos and timers 
everything you need to know. This is the protein that I drink. Now, I'm not a nutritionist, so I'm not telling anybody you have to drink a protein. I just do because I know for a fact I just like don't eat enough protein in the day to keep my like weight up. I'm very small, so I have to try to eat more and consume more to maintain my weight and or build muscle. So I like this brand called Aura Organic. Um, they're based in San Diego, but it's an organic and plant-based superfood protein. So if you're plant-based or you wanna try a supplement that's natural, like no chemicals or kosher, you may want to look into this brand. I keep wanting to add the na. <laughs> Umi wa utsukushi katta desu. So this, so this, desu. Okay, so na katta desu means it didn't happen. So it wasn't, it wasn't. Ta taka desu. Katta. It was. It was. It did happen. Hi. So, 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 so. Let's keep going. Exercise. You're getting used to it. Hi. So, I'm going to tell you I went somewhere. And you're going to tell me. You, you're going to make up your own sentence. I'm going to ask you how, well, how that stuff oh, was. Oh, she told me yesterday. Yeah. Ashita's tomorrow. Think of any. So, um, think of me one more thing. Kino, yesterday, this ne. Do you put ni or you don't put ni right after yesterday? Kino? Kino. I don't put anything. So, 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 you don't put anything. So, you said kino ni, so you didn't have to put. Okay, ni. okay. So, watashi wa kino sera kogen farms ni ikimas. Ikimas. Okay. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> 